From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow, and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Thursday, the 11th of March. The Melbourne truck driver who was high on ice when he killed four police officers on the side of the Eastern Freeway last year was in court today. 48-year-old Mahinda Singh entered guilty pleas to four counts of culpable driving causing death and six other charges in relation to the crash. The court heard today that he hadn't slept for eight days before the incident and was so affected by drugs that he couldn't speak. In other news, sex education will be beefed up to teach students about respect and consent. It comes after hundreds of young women detailed allegations of rape, sexual assault and harassment in an online campaign. The Federal Education Department will roll out new teaching materials on respectful relationships in the coming weeks. To TV now, Samantha Armitage bid farewell to Sunrise today after eight years as co-host. She broke down in tears as she blasted some parts of the media for being cruel to her throughout her career. I do want to say that I never fully understood some of the scrutiny and the the snarkiness and the bullying from some aspects of the media, but today we move on from that um, because there is a new chapter starting and it has been overwhelmingly a good experience in my life. Channel 7 hasn't yet revealed who will replace Sam as host, but newsreader Natalie Barr is the front runner. To showbiz now, controversial TV host Piers Morgan appears to be having the last laugh after his dramatic exit from Good Morning Britain. ITV copped a massive financial blow after Morgan announced he was leaving with The Guardian reporting almost $360 million had been wiped off the network's market value. Morgan quit the show after refusing a request from his bosses to apologise on air to Meghan Markle for his continued attacks on her. Meanwhile, surfing superstar Kelly Slater has weighed in on the royal crisis. He commented on an Instagram post on the Batuta Advocates page. He wrote this about Harry. I'd be mad too if I was James Hewitt's unacknowledged illegitimate kid, got essentially kidnapped and held hostage by the royal family, was forced to pretend that boring square Prince Charles was my dad all those years, then they cut off my trust fund and disapproved of my hot American wife because it didn't fit into their ongoing inbreeding program. Ooh, didn't hold back, did he, Kelly? Interesting words. Hey, if you want to uncover tips and tricks on how to live well, check out How To Be Happy, the podcast, where host Kate DeBrito talks to experts, celebrities and ordinary people about their secrets for a happy life. You can listen on Apple Podcasts or Spotify today. That's it for this episode of From The Newsroom. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Your headlines from news.com.au. 